Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and I'm a Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. In this video today, I want to talk to you about assessing your SQL Server databases in order to move them to Azure. If you're embarking on a data center migration project, the chances are you will stumble across a SQL Server database within your environment that has to be considered for a move to Azure. Now, there are certain tools that can help you along that journey, and I wanna walk you through some of them. Those include the Database Migration Assistant and Azure Migrate. So let's dive into the video and have a look. So here we have our SQL Server and we have an instance of SQL Server installed on that server and we have several databases. Now the database that we really care about is that Wide World Importers database and you can see we have a bunch of data within that. So in order to assess it for a migration to Azure, what we want to do is dive into the Azure portal. And the first thing that we have to do is create an Azure Migrate project. Now we have to answer some simple information around that. We have to give it a resource group to store the project in. We have to give the project a name and we also have to uh, pick a geography that we store this data in. Now this is around the metadata that we are collecting. It's not around where you're actually moving those resources to. So in this case, we're gonna store the metadata in the UK. But if we were to move this SQL Server, we could actually move it into US East, for example, and it wouldn't be affected. So the geography, when you create an Azure Migrate project, is really around that metadata storage and nothing else. Now, the next things that we have to address is which assessment tool we're going to use and potentially which migration tool we're going to use. Now, as we're only doing the assessment piece at the moment, that's the only one that we are concerned around. We're given a couple of options. We're giving the Azure Migrate database assessment tool, and we're also given a third party tool. We're going to use the Microsoft one, which is the Azure Migrate data database assessment tool. So once the project has been created, um, what we have to do now is download the database migration assistant tooling. Now you can download that and install it onto the SQL server that you're actually looking to assess, or you can install it on another server within your environment that has access to that SQL server. Because we're using a non-production server, we're actually gonna install the database migration assistant on the actual SQL server that we're uh, assessing. So once it's installed, what we want to do is create off a project. So we give that project a name, we tell it what our source server type is, in this case it is a SQL server, and potentially what target we're looking at moving it to. So again, we're going to pick the Azure SQL database, but you have multiple options here and you can run multiple assessment projects. So you could do one against um, Azure SQL server, or you could use one against the Azure SQL database managed instance. Um, or SQL Server on a virtual machine. There's a host of options there and you can run these as multiple times. So as you get that full picture of what it would look like and which one best fits your SQL Server database. So we point the tool at the server that we want to assess. And again, we're only picking one server, but you could pick multiple sources if you have a bunch of SQL Server databases that you want to assess. After a while, the tool will come back with some information. Now, it comes back with two sets of information. The first one is SQL Server feature parity information, and that will tell you any unsupported features at the Azure level or any partially supported features and what impact that has on your databases or your objects and gives you a detailed recommendation as well around how to move forward and how you could potentially solve that issue. Now, the second part of the report is actually compatibility issues. And again, it will give you detailed information around what those compatibility issues are, how they impact your database, and potentially how to move forward and fix those issues. Now, at this stage, you could export the assessment as a JSON file and use it to report on in whatever way you want within your environment. We want to upload this data onto Azure Migrate so that we can collate it with the rest of the server assessment details that we've collected around all of our server estate and all of our infrastructure and then collate it together and report to our leadership team. 
Now, when you click on that upload to Azure button, you're asked about where you want to put that data and you'll put ask to sign in as well. We are going to sign in and then tell the tool to upload the data to the Azure Migrate project that we created earlier on. Now, after a few minutes, the details from that report will start to be appear within the Azure portal for you. And you can see, again, some of those migration blockers, if there are any, any breaking changes, um, compatibility issues, database size, etc., etc. And from here, you can start to pull out that information and start to plan what your migration path would look like and the best way forward for your organization. So as you can see, we can leverage the Database Migration Assistant tool and Azure Migrate to assess our SQL Server databases for a migration to Azure. Now, remember, the Database Migration Assistant doesn't care where your SQL Server database lives. You could have the SQL Server database installed on an on-prem server, whether that be virtual or physical, or you could have it on a virtual machine running within Azure, or you could have it running on a virtual machine within another cloud platform. The tool does not care where that SQL Server database lives. As long as it can access that SQL Server database and have a look at what components and what features you have turned on in it, it can be used to assess your environment and then help you plan what would happen to the database within Azure. So if you have some SQL Server databases that are looking to be migrated into Azure, spin up the Database Migration Assistant today and feed the data into Azure Migrate to give you some rich detailed reports you can use to plan that migration. Thank you for watching.